Virgo. <laughs> Have you ever sprayed yourself with some sandalwood? Oh, just feels divine. Maybe, Virgo, your love life needs a little spritz of something. Sandalwood. Anyway, let's go see what the tarot has to say. Virgo, this is a love reading. It's for adults only. It's entertainment only. Virgo, let's look at love for you. What's going on? A new month, a new you. <laughs> the world is evolving. Virgo, Virgo love. I feel like, oh, oh. The Three of Swords, they messed up. Third party, promise of love not fulfilled. Why was it upright? I haven't seen that card in days. In reading so we're gonna do five cards for you five cards for whoever love you have in mind or if you don't have anybody in mind it will be incoming energy we'll top up those cards with different decks and get a really great story well let's find your love story let's use your love language to find your love story <clears throat> feel ready mm, what an interesting combination here these are you unexpected event step to the future most probable outcome here's your lover oh they are magical <laughs> Virgo have you ever loved a magical priestess or a warlock like it is some crazy fun and I highly recommend it as does the tarot. They want you involved with somebody, maybe in the occult, maybe just a tarot reader, maybe somebody who knows how to amp up the energy sexually. This is what's coming in. However, it looks like there's a three, a throuple. Are you in a throuple? You know, three people. Um, that could be healthy. However, if there is somebody hidden in the loving here that is the issue these cards are covering you this is the eight of cups but this one is reversed the eight of cups for me is a one year time frame it's emotionless sex it's walking away from something that you're no longer spiritually tied to i think that's like that's why this spiritual human is showing up in your future because you need that transcending connection it's lacking in whatever you're involved in right now if you're not involved in anything then be prepared to get thrown into a three-way um, love triangle because there's some kind of transcending connection that you need as part of your destiny right now we're talking straight up here if you've not loved somebody magical get on it go find them because look at this unexpected card is the moon which again is Pisces but it's it's the kind of love that is to, to repeat it it's a soul response right it's uh, spiritual justice it's loving that conquers loving connection that that uh, is all the stems of the valve right like it covers everything fully it's not just here or there you know some days it's good some days it's not like for the good first three years this is solid goodness this incoming love then it's work <laughs> <clears throat> And then after three years, you grow and you want more. And that's when people need to start looking at their relationships and saying, maybe we aren't meant to keep going here. Is that so bad? I don't know. The justice reversed, right? That again, it's a connection that isn't working, but you're trying to make it work. Facing the facts in an unpleasant way. Oh dear. This King of Cups reversed sadness. 
Your compassion is dwindling. Your diplomacy is cut off. You're a sad Scorpio. <laughs> the thing is, you're not a Scorpio, um, but you possibly are harboring deep down some kind of unhealed junk that is going to surface soon with meeting this new person and they are going to help you fix it. Healing can happen in an instant. Emotional healing can happen in an instant when your heart is ready and you meet the right person who says, decides and devotes themselves to helping you be resilient. And your life in one year will probably be nothing like it is now because all those little divots in your soul are about to be cleansed and filled with this new spiritual love coming towards you. Let's look at them. Let's look more at who they are. Yeah, the wheel. The wheel is karmic. They they are in a ending a karmic cycle right now and about to start a fresh one. Look at she's inviting you onto that wheel. He, she, whatever you need to use. They are inviting you onto their wheel that's about to shift into goodness. They know what it's like to be hurt and they're they're going they're they're coming into a relationship with you knowing that. I feel like the relationship you're leaving behind, they don't know what it's like to be hurt and they take a lot for granted. This no, this is this is healthy, loving with somebody magical. Right? The page of pentacles. This is you, your energy, good with your hands, a gift giver, dependable, devoted, faithful energy. You showing up in their timeline is what we're looking at here. Now let's take a look at what kind of career this next love has for you. Who are they? How are they showing up? How will we identify them career-wise? King of Wands, Big Daddy, Heartbreaker, sugar mama they have they're well they're well off we want some we want some direct words about career for this person <clears throat> medical consultant this is the six of pentacles right it's fixed energy like you medical consultant maybe they are a healer they love museums perhaps they work in a museum they are sports fanatic or they work with the earth like you are the earth. Did you catch the metaphor there? They work with the earth <laughs> and you are the earth. Look at this high priestess. This love is perfect. Hanged man reversed. Sometimes the hangman reversed is just doing a handstand. They still, they still know what they're doing. Um, what I, this, this is their step to the future, though. The, the hanged man reversed for them, in regards to you, is an interest, is interesting shift, right? To doing what they, they need to do they need to be them they can't go with all the chickens into the coop they have their own they they go to the beat of their own drummer that will be hard for you to get used to the world here is venus herself the world card it's like that naked feminine moving towards the future. It's completion. Virgo, are you still with me? Those were your first few cards. If you feel like you want to claim this reading, you got to make it happen in your intentions right in here. You can do it. Um, let's go back and finish. I'm excited for this reading. Come back with me.
Okay. Let's add some cards here and get more details on this story. Yeah. You, Virgo. <laughs> Earth is the word. Remember that song, Bird is the Word? Earth is the word. Earth is the word. Get these going to come out. Let's reveal them as we read the tarot. Leo energy. Wow. Oh. But look it, this person is dragged by the Leo. I think the Leo is past energy. This is the love triangle with the Leo. Look at that, they're dragged. I feel it's all of a sudden, this, this reading all of a sudden got a little bit heavy with this Leo card. Keeping an open mind. There is a soulmate flying around you quite magically, like we already indicated. But you're busy looking at this Leo. <laughs> you're looking at the wrong fiery heart. <laughs> it's okay. You can reel it in and look when you're ready. Again, that secret. There's a secret with the Leo. The sun card, though, shows up when you thought you could be casual with somebody. It's a soul response. This is in the unexpected card location. Unexpected soul response to somebody secretive. Unexpected soul res response to a Pisces. Unexpected soul response to somebody magical. I can hardly wait for you to experience this, Virgo. No, yes, Pluto. Pluto is when you're coming home, when you, you know, when you're making love and it feels like home. This partner, this love, magical lover is bringing it home for you. Their Pluto energy, right? This is the same card upright. The blue the throat chakra, having conversations that matter, spiritual expansion, most probable outcome, new love, stirrings deep down where it matters, those southern sensations stirred up, <laughs> much like a king of cups energy can do, emotional sex, right? Um, is genius. I'm I'm going to say that emotional sex is genius with an emotional sign like a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. It's development. It's waiting for life to settle a bit and making changes. That was reversed. New love brings that energy up, right? And that's what you want to see. Let's look at this lover. Uh-oh, past life, somebody, now this might not be an ex, this could be somebody who you lived with 10,000 years ago, and 8,000 years ago, and 6,000 years ago, so you're very familiar. Again, it's that Pluto energy of coming home, right? Yeah, he loves her, and she's letting him. Mm. A wedding <laughs> that speaks for itself unexpected event make the effort here's what's gonna happen this magical person is gonna marry somebody else unless you speak up when you meet them you need to jump on it or they are marrying somebody else whoa never said that before Wow yeah, see, and then their energy, their self soul response is so energetic and high right now. You can't help but be like, look, this is you with all your little cherubs chasing. 
You can't not be near them. You can't not not be near them once you get to know them. And if you slow down loving them, they're going to marry somebody else. Wow. Wouldn't it suck if they married another Virgo? <laughs> That's not you. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's do a little bit more here. I'm feeling this deck. Lying and not truthful. The high priestess. So this, look at how much these look alike. Eek. Yuck. Okay, let's get another one for the top row here. The other parent of your children. Maybe you're going to make more children, more babies. This is B for one card for the lover. Trust me. Oh, oh that's, that is deadly awesome. Wicked smart. Oh, this has been... This has been so fun. I love this reading. I feel like we want one more card for the outcome here. And let's just use my homemade art here and see what flops out. Most probable outcome. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Virgo love, Virgo love. You're gonna like this. Spicy tongue, couple of lovers. That kind of love. Mm. Virgo, have at it. 